So I've been coming down to South by Southwest for like over 10 years now, and I'm really excited because it's our first ever Last Call showcase. We actually get to commandeer a whole night here with the help of Sony and Red7. I booked six bands, a uh, pretty eclectic group, and just kind of taken over a night. We're going to start off with, I think, one of the best unsigned rock bands in, uh, out of Los Angeles called Roll the Tanks. Uh, they got a real distinct sound. The guys could barely make it down here. We almost weren't even going to be able to come. And uh, we, we needed new tires, new shocks, a tune-up, you, know, uh, you know, a new window, a new, all this stuff. Yeah, and, uh, we need a lot. Carson, uh, Carson himself was, uh, uh, you know, kind and generous enough to, to help us out and get out here. So we're, uh, we're incredibly grateful. Uh, and then we've got uh, Tennis, a great group. We've got um, uh, Bomba Estereo, a Colombian group. We've got really eclectic groups tonight. Uh, out of New York, we got Colts are playing tonight. Uh, we've got the OCs who are awesome. Uh, and then we've got uh, Lee Fields and the Expressions. Uh, this guy's waited 40 years for his television debut. Everybody that plays on my showcase tonight here at South by Southwest, they're all going to be on uh, Last Call. We had one other show on the way, and uh, we showed up, and uh, they didn't have a stage or a PA or people. So this tonight's a big night as far as there being a stage and a PA and, and humans, you know? These are bands that I like, a lot of music that I listen to, and. Um, and I wanted just a, 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 I wanted an eclectic night. I didn't want it to be like all rap or rock or, I wanted it to be like a good college radio station night, like a KEXP in Seattle or a KCRW in Santa Monica. I wanted to have a really good feel, a broad audience. When people see that there's a Carson Daly showcase at South by Southwest, I think in their minds, they think it's gonna be one way. They probably associate it with a lot of popular music or Lord knows what. But this is an extension of my late night show's brand, which is our never ending, quest to try and shine a light on musicians and artists that need a break. That guy's sure. the real deal, you know. He cares about young bands and he cares about music, so that's why we're here, so. I saw The Killers, I don't even know when, and it was in like a, literally a ho somebody's house. It was like an after, 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 after party, and they played on a, like a, somebody's lawn. And they were like, yeah, we're some band from Vegas, and and then they went on to, um, to do my show in Las Vegas. I think it was their TV debut, so. I owe South by Southwest a big thanks for that. This is total chaos. Yeah, it's mayhem and chaos. I've never seen anything like it really. There's just people everywhere, and you know every corner store becomes a you know becomes a club. And yeah, we saw MC Hammer hanging out already. MC today. Hammer within five minutes of arriving. <laughs> I mean, the average artist can't get on a network, and I want to be that beacon. I, I want to be there to come on last call, give you the tape, and you can take it to Jay Leno. So you know this showcase is about a further extension of that that offering to try and you know give give artists a chance everything you're going to see tonight from red seven is going to air on last call on nbc and here on fuse uh, all next week we're just looking forward to opening the night and it's uh, you know the last call's first uh, showcase at south by so we're we're honored to be the first uh, court you know that gets struck and uh yeah we're, it's just going to be a half hour of power and then you know the, this other band setting up has you know like 17 members so it'll get It'll get more interesting throughout the night, but it's going to start out very simple, very old school, very, you know, rock and roll.